Hello everyone, we're back in Fallout 4. Now to address some questions to start this off. Now knowing my channel, these questions probably involve the few dog videos I've made. I'm perfectly okay with this because that means I'm the Fallout 4 dog guy. This is a coveted title and I'm glad to have it. So please don't take it from me. Now to actually address the fact of why we're at Walling Pond is there's a special weapon here that does has a 20% increased chance to cripple enemies when you strike their limbs, and that weapon's name is Big Jim. On top of that there's also some jet and some other useful things here, and on top of that it's just kind of a very easy place to clear out. I cleared this out area out at uh, level 8 I believe with dog meat. I'm currently using Cotsworth though. And well over right here you're going to find a special helmet that I'm using called the Mining Helmet that allows you to shine a little flashlight. It's very neat, especially at night. And there's Big Jim. Alright, for this next area I recommend you either are slightly higher or just be immune to nuclear weapons. Either one will help because there's going to be a super mutant carrying around a nuke and he will make a blitz right for you. He one shot me and it was quite annoying because I haven't saved in a while. Now once you come down here you're going to need advanced lock picking and hacking, but the good news is you get plus 5 scoped damage and you can snuggle up with this skeleton over here. I don't know if you get extra romance bonuses, but I'm sure, you know, if you court him. Remember, always be cordial. No matter what it is, a one night stand, you still need to be cordial. Now there's plenty of ammo in here, and two safes. One is a novice and one is advanced. I unlocked the both via console commands because I do not train my lock picking. I actually don't do much in this game. I don't mess around with my settlements or anything. wonder if that's a hint of something. I'm being very subtle today. And there's some more ammo over here. Now we're gonna head over- oh, hold on, is there some bourbon? Yeah, there is. I don't need a coffee cup. Alright, now we're gonna head over to the plane. I just gotta get inside here. Now towards the back of the plane there's a little bag and a first aid kit. Of course the first aid kit has supplies that you should probably take, and this one has a cell key. So if you don't use console commands like me, I guess take this key beforehand. Yeah. Also a hat. You can look fly while you're doing your courting. Now there's also a really powerful gun up towards the front. I personally couldn't get into the cockpit, so I just went around to the front and shot it loose. And then I ran back over to the other side and then picked up the gun. Now the gun does quite a bit of damage, I believe 48, without putting any points into increased damage, and it has a decent semi-automatic fire rate. Obligatory self-deprecating comment asking you to subscribe and like the video. Have a good day.